The following correspondence took place between President Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. and his son, Robert Hunter Biden, in the years preceding 2023. To my dearest son, Hunter, tis I, your father, leader of these grand colonies we call America. I believe I am writing this from my personal chambers in the White House, but I would need to seek confirmation of that fact from the good Dr. Jill. There are ever so many buildings and rooms in this fair city. Alas, the purpose of my writing today is thus. It would appear my enemies in the great Congress of these United States have stumbled upon some of our untoward business dealings in foreign lands. With this in mind, please attempt to keep the lowest of profiles as we weather the storms headed toward the Biden shores. I hope all is well, and we will speak again in the near future. Sent with love and honor and a fair amount of confusion, Joe. P.S. My most loyal canine companion, Commander, attacked another one of my manservants today. In the corridors of the West Wing, his deeds hath left the path of blood and tendon. He has a ravenous appetite for human flesh. I heard the canine describe these desires with my own ears this past Tuesday at breakfast. He speaks perfect English and happens to love eggs, as well as human flesh. To my loving father, Joe, it is with great regret that I must inform you that staying out of the national spotlight may be a more difficult task than previously anticipated. You see, I have recently misplaced a personal computing device that contains an enormous amount of my personal possessions, such as financial records, business correspondence, and private photographs. If the rumors are to be believed, our family may experience a disconcerting situation similar to being bent over a moldy sofa and entered forcefully from the nether regions. Not unlike a recent encounter I experienced with a burlesque performer named Wendy inside her house on wheels. Respectfully and faithfully yours, Hunter. P.S. I write this letter to you whilst enjoying the great outdoors. Also, my c*** is out and currently exposed to the elements. To my troubled yet beloved son, my sincerest apologies on the release of your personal photographs. I do wish to inquire thusly. In the images of yourself and your presumably baking partner, where you are surrounded by piles and lines of flour, why did you find it necessary to remove all of your articles of clothing? Did the oven make the temperature untenable? Furthermore, I must express my discontent upon beholding your partaking in the burning leaf of tobacco, though I toil with utmost vigor to vanquish the malady known as cancer. The remedy proves as perplexing to me as the confounding use of the three-pronged eating utensils provided by the White House kitchen. Blessings upon you, Joe. P.S. Stay strong, dear boy. And a reminder for your next visit, please stop exposing your c especially around Commander. Not a joke. Additional correspondence between Joe and Hunter Biden was uncovered and archived for future historical study. They were found near an antique Corvette amongst hundreds of boxes of classified presidential records. 